Hey everybody, it's Margaret and how are you doing? I am bringing you my weekly staying on point, which is sort of a goal setting and reviewing the week that has gone by and then letting you know what my goals are for the week. So hopefully that you will also set goals for yourself. And if you are here live, welcome. I'm so glad that you came. Also, I have a bit of a mini haul. It looks more like a haul haul now that I'm looking at it, but I'll show it. And then maybe later I'll do like a different, like a haul haul video. But anyway, I wanted to come on and say, hey, um, last week's Staying On Point was recorded because I was planning on going out of town with my mom. Things changed, but I'll, I'll share with that in a second. So hopefully, also, the video and audio is syncing up because the last live video that I did the audio and video were not syncing up right. Um, and it wasn't so bad live, but then after the fact, it didn't, it didn't look right. So we'll see. It didn't look right for not the obvious reasons. Anyway, so hello, everybody. I have 19 friends in the chat that I see. And I'm going to say hi real quick to some friends. Hello, Jeff Davidson. He says he's just stalking. That's cool. I'm used to it. <laughs> Susan Gardner, hello. Going on Grumpy and Hyper Picker. Hello, I'm looking. Hello, Thrifting Life and Fran needs more stuff. And Cindy Roach and Global Gibby. Hello. I'm so glad that you guys could make it. And thanks for coming over. All right. So um, I didn't do a lot of planning. <laughs> Happy Stay on Point Sunday. Yes. <laughs> I did not do a lot of planning um, or writing in my, you know, journal-y thing today. So it may, that part may be brief. Hello, Meg Constantini and Alex. How are you? So, okay, let me, I'm gonna go backwards this time just because I always start with business. So let me do business last because I actually have the most to say about the business. Um, fun, I couldn't think of anything to write, which is a bit sad. <laughs> um, we had fun this weekend. We went to, we went out, did a race, which is not fun for me, but fun for all my boys, my husband included. So we did a race and then we were on the other side of town and there was, um, a church rummage sale and nobody ever calls it a rummage sale here and so it was really surprised when it was called a rummage sale I don't know why I know for some people have rummage sales and they call them rummage sales I'm just going off about rummage sales but usually here they just call it a church garage sale or a community garage sale and if it's indoor it's just an indoor garage sale and but I don't know some places they call it a rummage sale I'm just gonna talk about rummage sales still so <laughs> when to were my first rummage sale and some of the things that I'll show you today was from uh, from that. So I'm trying to think what else fun is going on. Hmm. My brother's getting married next weekend. Oh, here's a funny story. My little brother's getting married this coming weekend. And it's not his first or second or third marriage. But that's neither here nor there. I ran into his best friend at um, up at my kid's school. And I said, oh, okay, I'll see you Saturday at, at Brian's wedding. And his best friend said, what are you talking about, Brian's wedding? <laughs> he didn't tell him. I don't know why. I mean, and then I called. I was like, what happened? Why didn't you tell him? Okay, this is not fun or business related. But I was just like, what didn't you tell him what happened? He was like, oh, we're just doing a family thing. It's no big deal, you know. And he didn't, he didn't invite me to his last two weddings either. I was just like, what? <laughs> okay, you guys, whatever. So. They're, maybe they're having a, the battle of multiple weddings. I don't know. <laughs> but you know when you put your foot in your mouth, it happens. Um, <laughs> hello. I mean, let me say hey real quick before I move on and start talking about, this is why I write it down. If I didn't write it down, I shouldn't bring it up, right? <laughs> hey, Rush County, how's it going? And Cindy says she she sold her first accordion mug rack. Yay. I forgot to think about shipping. Anyone have anything special you do? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> I have a whole system for shipping those things. And they've started selling again, by the way. Because um, I was going through a spell where they were selling like hotcakes, and then I, and I had like a backlog of them. But they've actually started selling again. USPS, they have those shoebox, you know, the shoeboxy ones. Well, I Frankenbox two of them together. So like I cut one in half, and then I stick it in there with some, you know, wrap, paper wrap. And then like I shimmy down the other one on top and tape it on there. That was the best method I found because it's going to go priority anyway So because of the weight and all of that. So, yeah. And then Thrifting Life says she's, she fits it into a 12 by 6 by 6 box sideways. I'll have to try that. What's 6 by 6? Six, 6? 
12. Okay, I don't have any. I don't think I have any of that size, but maybe I need to get some because Frankenboxing is not my friend. I'm not so good at it. <laughs> hey, Turtle Trader. Hello, Janina. Hello, Nancy. And oh, Jeff. Oh, did I scare you? Okay. <laughs> and Cashy Castaway. Hello. Yes, I and I still have some of the list too, but they have. I've sold. I've sold a few lately. And let's see. Okay, good. That was that. <laughs> that was the fun stuff. Throwing my brother out there. That was fun. But he's your brother. Come on. What are you going to do? And it's your, when it's your little brother and he's been especially a pain in the butt all your life, I tease. But anyway, <laughs> um, so health and wellness, things have been going okay. I mean, I have not been as active as I, I plan to be. So, you know, this last week has been really, um, time, there's been a lot of time-consuming stuff. With my mom, I'll fill you in that uh, real quick. The Thrifting Life says they're eBay boxes. So I'm going to look at the 12 by 6 by 6 on the eBay boxes for that because the new coupon codes are supposed to come out recent now, I think, or the last one just ended. So maybe the new one comes out soon. I'll have to see. So, yeah, um, I've been trying to eat better, which is one thing because I know we, I always like to hit these four subjects. Uh, I should have said this in the beginning. Listen to me ramble now. I like to talk about. Fun, health and wellness, home and organization, and business because that, that way you try to keep your life well-rounded because I know for me, I get myself out of whack and I'll simply focus on one area of my life. So again, I should make sure that I say that at the beginning because that's kind of where I go around about with these topics. And somebody said on the last video, staying on point, ha, huh, you couldn't stay on point. And they're right. <laughs> I can't. So I did not fault them for that because it's true. So... <laughs> Okay, so back to health and wellness. Um, so yeah, this past week, <clears throat> it was tough. You know, mom, you guys probably know my mom. It, I've talked about her before. She, earlier this year, she had um, what we thought were strokes, and it turned out that they, they, they couldn't pinpoint exactly what they were. They definitely mimic strokes, but they didn't show up later. So they think that it might be seizures, a certain kind of seizures that mimic strokes. Um, but this past week, we, we uh, last week and I recorded the staying on point because she and I were supposed to go out of town, but then she fractured her ankle. So we didn't get to go, um, which was fine. Um, but then this past week, she let me know some other medical stuff that she'd been hiding from me because normally I take her to all her appointments and my dad started taking her for like a week to some of her appointments. And I was like, what is going on? Um, so yeah, she had some other stuff pop up. That I'll, I'll probably tell, I'll probably fill you in on it later, but we're waiting to find out for sure, you know, what's going on with that. But I mean, my whole point in bringing it up is that when it comes to your business and family and all of this stuff, like making sure that you're prioritizing, because it's really, like I said in the last video, it was really easy to get frustrated, like, oh, that one day I was planning on going with Tanya thrifting, and my mom called and was like, I really need you to come take me to the doctor. You know, it's like, keeping your mind straight and prioritizing like, okay, where's, where's the importance here? You know, yeah, I can go thrifting. I can go list. I can, but my mom is like one of my number ones, you know, as far as importance. So that's where I was going with that. So yeah, <laughs> there was a lot going on there this week. So, um, and then the home and organization, you know, I, I had gone through, I'm not talking to you guys. I feel like I'm talking at you. I'm sorry. Uh, in the chat. How is everything going for you? Make sure you're letting me know in the chat, you know, how you're doing. If you were, if you had goals with your health and wellness, or if you had goals to make sure you got some fun going on in your lives, I feel like I'm blowing through all of this. So, um, and that's not the point because I could just do a video if I wanted to do that. So I don't know. Um, let me know how it's going for you because I want to know. Um, so moving forward, I need to slow down. So Moving forward with a home and organization, I had spent all that time cleaning up my workroom, and now it's a big mess again. So that is something that I've had to work on these last couple of days. It's still a bit of a mess, but I have the Thrift Hall Throwdown tonight, and two of the categories that Jason has are mystery categories, which means... I need to know that I can get into my workroom and find things, and I need to know where things are. So I spent the last couple days, not the whole days, but parts of the day, just getting in there, trying to organize, looking in tubs that weren't labeled to see what was inside, 
um, looking at what I have on the closet shelves to see what I've got there. So if he says, go get something that has to do with the 80s, I can go in there and find something. So yeah, that was a bit challenging. So I need to also go back through and uh, organize some more. Okay, good, good. So Cindy's saying she wishes that she could take her mom out. She's been gone for 18 years and her dad for eight. Yes, I mean, you never know, right? My husband, her, his mom died um, when he was 14, 15. And so it's just that time that you never get back. So yeah, um, hyper picker, still moving houses. Okay, good. Plus last Friday, last day at your booth. I, I quit my booth too. I mean, I, I'm wondering if you quit your booth for the same reason. I just, it wasn't profitable for me. I think it was, and it wasn't, it, I think it was the area for me that it wasn't getting the right amount of traffic. Susan's trying to schedule this week more. Awesome. Deep cleaning the dining room. Oh boy. <laughs> Nelly says she's given up. She's not, she's not trying to organize anymore. <laughs> oh, great. So Cal finds. Okay. How did you deal with all that stuff from it? Oh, all the, uh, oh, the stuff I brought. And that was part of the big giant mess this summer was all the stuff from the antique booth came home. Oh my gosh. So one, I put some of it up on a local garage sale site and, so, and some, if I didn't feel like I was going to list it or things like that, I just redonated and got the, you know, the form for the tax write off because it was starting to stress me out big time. Yeah. So <clears throat> yeah, that's what I ended up having to do and just cut my losses and realize like, okay, I'm going to be more productive if I just, you know, cut my losses and cause I had nowhere else to put it, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah. And some of it was, you know, either big or bulky or I didn't, you know, I still have a big thing of beanie babies cause I keep thinking I'm just going to lock them up. I mean, they sold in the booth. Those were one of the only things that sold in the booth, weirdly enough. But <laughs> um, so yeah, that's going on. And about this, somebody mentioned scheduling, and I oh, it already went up. <clears throat> um, I have also I don't have my planner with me, but I've also tried to be more specific and intentional in my planner. And I don't have a cutesy planner. If you if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see every now and then I'll post a picture of my planner, and it looks like my pen like just went all over it. <clears throat> but I've tried to um, really get more, you know, like 20 minutes here, set the timer, like telling myself, because I find, I can't remember who is giving me that um, tip, like set the timer, give yourself 30 minutes. So that's what I've been doing in my workroom, 30 minutes, go. See how much I can get done in my workroom for 30 minutes. And then I find that things get done a lot faster. And then I'm doing this also with my housework because I'm really horrible about it. <laughs> I'll say, I, I won't necessarily time myself or say you have 30 minutes to do this, but I'll set the timer and say, oh, let's see how long it takes me to actually go switch out the laundry because in my brain, it's like going to take forever. And then I set the timer and I go do it and it's like three minutes, you know, <laughs> to get the stuff out and put the other stuff in and switch it all out. But like, for whatever reason, I just hate to do it, you know, or set the timer and see how long it actually takes me to fold that basket of laundry. Cause in my brain, it takes me like three hours, but then it only actually took me like 15 minutes, maybe 10, 15 minutes to fold it and put it away. So, but then it just ends up piling up. And then for sure, when you wait for it to all pile up, then it will take you three hours to get everything done. So I, I wish I could give credit cause I can't remember who it was that said that they set that timer, but that was like one of the best, tools for me this week, I guess I do have something protected to tell you, <laughs> was that setting that timer, like, okay, go, see how much I can get listed in 30 minutes, go, 30 minutes, Margaret, go work in your workroom, and then I also tried to rotate it, so I wasn't just sitting working for, for three hours, but like, okay, I would write a note to myself, in 20 minutes, this is what's next, and I would have a little mini list, like one, two, three things to do, you know, laundry, I don't know what else I put on the list because I don't have my planner with me. And so when that 20 minutes was up for or 30 minutes from, from listing, boom, I had to get up and do something else just to kind of switch it up and switch it up in my brain a bit. And it really worked. I felt like at the end of the day, I was way more productive, you know, than otherwise. So that's a good tip. <laughs> okay, let's see. Jennifer, she works seven days a week at the factory, hard time finding to do anything. Yes. When I was when I was teaching, it was tough. Like 
because that's when I first started selling on Etsy and I was still teaching it was my last year teaching and I would try to do everything I could on my phone as much as I could but it was you know 30 minutes maybe 30 minutes here or get one listing done you know at lunchtime or and it was tough and I have little ones at home so that was yeah uh, let's see cops keep beanie babies in their car to give to children to cut ah uh, to calm them down that's a good idea I may ask uh, I may ask the popo my little brother's a police <laughs> you know I'm just throwing him out there I may ask him if if he needs some beanie babies you know or take him down to the local the local one Janina Debas oh am I gonna say your name Debska uh, I find if I make lists and schedule tasks I work better sometimes I can't even feel to make a list or schedule nothing gets done this is true this is so true Jenny says she puts a 10 tasks on a paper in a jar and pull them out one at a time and set the timer for 15 minutes. I love that. It's like a game. I love that. Right? Spin the wheel. Like, psh, what's going to happen next? I sound so sad. Eh, I'm okay. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> this is not sad. <laughs> oh, okay. Good, good, good. Um, so, what's that? Okay. Home organization done. Okay, now for business. Yay. This is kind of business. Greener pastures, the timer works great for me. I also have a five-minute bag. I put stuff in there that I could do in five minutes. I have a few minutes to kill, like a thank you note, a sew a button, set up my planner, etc. That's a good idea, too. I like those ideas because, for sure, I need – I never stop, though. I don't know if you guys do. I, mean, I have a feeling you, you, uh, you know this about me, but I just don't stop. I mean, from the moment I get up, it's like I'm on it for something, you know, after something all day long. But but I have started rewatching Downton Abbey, so that's kind of helped me slow down a bit. I watched, you know, I don't know. That's sort of neither here nor there. But normally I don't watch too much TV at all, but I have been rewatching that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so far as business goes, good news, I have started really working on my listings again. <laughs> as you might know, I've really been focusing, I've been focusing on my merch account for a while because I teared up from the 100 uh, level up to the 500 level, and I wanted to maximize that. And I've actually dropped back down to, I need to put 15 more shirts up, because I just, when the debate came up, let's just, let's just get that out there. I don't like to talk politics, but when the debate was on, I was using it for sure as a um, business thing. You know, I'm watching the debate, looking for uh, keywords or things that might look good on a shirt, and, and so as I'm watching, I'm creating shirts and I'm uploading them so in order to do that I had to take a few shirts down and so I didn't come up with as many designs as I thought I might but that's okay and I have a couple merch videos um, one what merch is and then another one on how I design shirts for merch using PicMonkey um, I, I can link them down below later or in the video up here later I always point to the wrong side I don't know what side it's gonna pop up on anyway um, so that's something that somebody's like, don't tell everybody. They're going to go do it. But I think, you know what? I mean, that's why I do this, right? To share ideas and ways to make money. So it takes, it takes months to get approved for merch. But if you put your, you know, application in now, then when it, the time comes, it's worth it. I mean, it's been a game changer. Um, well, uh, that's next on my list, but I'll go ahead and jump on it since I'm already there. So... I started merch. I sold my first shirt on merch in January. <clears throat> and in my merch video, I share like my each month and how many shirts I sold and how much I made each month just to show how it can grow and how it can compound on itself um, and how once it's set up, it's just this passive income. And my, my goal is to start making enough every month on merch to pay my car payment, which is really good I think would be good I know that there are people that make literally thousands of dollars a month on merch they do that well I don't want to pay a graphic designer I just don't um, but so I make my own designs and, and things like that but this month I was able to meet that goal and so the money from this month won't come until next month but next month you know when the money comes in I'll have made enough money on merch to pay my car payment totally which is awesome I think and that's just you know now that I've got that set up those shirts I mean I can pin them on Pinterest or I don't do a lot other than that to promote them um, 
but yeah, it's been really, really good. Anyway, so that's something to think about. If you are not selling on merch or haven't applied for that yet, it's free. You know, it's like free money. And why wouldn't you want to have free money? I do. I do. <laughs> so and as far as listing goes, I have been listing because that got kind of put on hold while I was setting up merch. So I've started listing the jewelry from the latest jewelry jar. Um, people are talking about their happy planners. I have to look into this happy planners. I know Jeff got one. I think Tanya just got one too. Um, so um, listing has been going pretty good. I've got a ton of pictures and that's, that's happening. And sales have picked up, which, you know, I'm a firm believer in is if you're selling more, then you get higher up in the rank. And I think that's true, but <laughs> eBay is very vague about that, but you know, just from experience. And then, boy, was that it? And then I've gone jewelry crazy. That was the only other thing here. I've gone jewelry crazy lately, you guys. So I think you probably noticed that because half my hauls now seem like jewelry stuff. I have a few things here. I'm going to show you my haul. Should I do updates first? Maybe I'll do both. I'll do updates now. I'll show you the haul, and then I'll remind you of the updates at the end. Sound good? So tonight, on Jason T. Smith's channel, um, we're having the second thrift haul throwdown where I'm going up against Nick Garces, the Bolo King, and I'm a bit nervous because I still don't have one of my items. So we'll see how I'm going to pull that off. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so that happens tonight, Jason T. Smith's channel. Um, I think it's 9 p.m. on the East Coast, 6 p.m. on the West Coast. I'm not sure about the time conversions. I think it's 7 o'clock, my time central. So that's happening. If you're in the, on the thrifting board or if you're an International League of Thrifters or if you follow me on Texas Gal Treasures, you will have seen it and there's a link there and there's a time and everything like that. So that's going on tonight. Then tomorrow night I'll be on Steve Rakin's channel. And don't ask me what we're talking about because I have no idea. <laughs> he just said, you want to come talk? And I was like, yeah, sure, okay. Um, I was actually supposed to do it last week, but I got sick and the, all the stuff with my mom, so I, we didn't get to, to chat last week. So, Steve, if you're watching, and I'm sure you are, <laughs> let me know what we're going to talk about. That'd be fun. But if not, we'll just shoot the breeze, and, and that'll be fine, too. And then Tuesday, these are all things that I know about that are coming. Tuesday at, I think, noon Central Time, and this is going to be on Nick Kill's channel. Um, Nick Kills and Zaheer Malik, they do a show, and they hang out and talk reselling, and sometimes they have guests on. But tomorrow, they are going to be interviewing or having uh, Bonafide, Chris the Bonafide Hustler, on their channel. So if you'd like to see how Chris handles some of my, uh, some of my UK friends and, <laughs> and what kind of questions they ask, uh, that might be a fun show to watch, too. Jenny says, check with your friends and family and see if they have it. I can't cheat. <laughs> you know, I thought of that, but I was like, I just can't do it. The, you know, the, the rules were like, it has to be something that I thrifted. Can't be something I already have. I mean, it can be something I already, I've already thrifted, but just haven't listed yet. That's okay. But it can't be something that was mine personally or, I don't know. See, if I were a more deceitful person, I could go do that. <laughs> I just couldn't bring myself to. So if I have to come up empty-handed, Maybe I'll still win. Who knows? <laughs> okay, now for the haul. So let's see how I'm going to do this. I am going to start with, I'll start with, with what I got at that first rummage sale um, that I went to. So here we go. One of the things I picked up, and it's, the prices were so cheap. This was 25 cents. I don't know what it is. I think it, this box was with it, and the box says Samsonite clock, but I don't know if this is a, I don't know that this was supposed to go with it, because it didn't even fit really in there. So this wheel, here's what I thought about it. I would just put it up as like a uh, steampunk something or other thing. I've got to look it up. I mean, because all of the little metal pieces have these fleur de -lis on them, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought, okay, for a quarter, I'll buy this thing whatever it is, and check it out. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Not me, that's for sure. And I don't have anything, any research pulled up, so I may end up doing a separate video later on and pull up the research, but I thought, hey, why not? I'll just show you what I got. Um, 
Before I do the next one, Nevada's asking, how are my kitties? Thank you for asking. My kitties are doing very well. They are still in isolation, which poor things, I know, but they're, they're all together now. So they are totally, I'm going to say ringworm, guys, okay? We're still battling this ringworm thing. It's been months. Horrible. Never get it, ever. I don't wish it on my worst enemy, <laughs> if I had any enemies. Anyway, the cats have been separated, and the big kitties were in the office, and the baby kitties were in the bathroom. But now that they're cleared of ringworm, the reason that they're still in isolation is that Randy and I are not cleared of ringworm. So we still have it. We're still taking the medication for it in our hair. It's a month long. So I've got six days left of my medication, but then I have to get reevaluated. And if it's still there, I get two more weeks. Yay. So um, we would let the kitties out, but we don't want them to get reinfected. So that's kind of where we stand with that. It has been the most horrible, horrible thing ever. So that's, that's all about that. But I can't, I mean, we, we're able to go in and see them now. So we like wash our hands really good so they don't get it from us. And we can go in and pet them and everything. And then, and then from there we go. Okay. So, okay, yes, steamboat wheel. Jenny says, it looks like a steamboat wheel could go on a clock. And it might be. It looks like it's like something broke over here. So, and it kind of moves. But I figured, you know, <laughs> somebody might want it for a steampunk thing. And then in our group, there's, there's a new group called Jewelry Lovers. So I can't remember how I titled it. Jewelry Lovers, Sellers, and ah. Anyway, um, but one of our friends over there shared how when she does jewelry lots, she'll try to find ones that look like steampunkish, like industrial or like metal and gears and wheels and clock bits. And she'll make a whole like steampunk jewelry lot. Um, like with broken bits and things. And so that's something that might end up happening with this. That You know, for 25 cents, it might bump that jewelry steampunk lot up, I think. So <laughs> we'll see. And then this, I've never seen these before. This, these are from Reed and Barton. And they say, it says, happy birthday here. I didn't know what it was, honestly, until I... I got to the car and I picked it up. Where's the price? I think it was 50 cents. I can't find the price now. But it was 50 cents. I picked it up and I said, I don't even know what this is, but 50 cents, I'm getting it. And they are, I think, from this saying, happy birthday, I think these little doodads get pushed into like a cake or cupcakes. And then on top, can you see there's like a little hole where I think you would put a candle. So there's a little bird. And then another little bird. There's different ones, though. There's a little turtle one. Right? What do you think? Do you think that that might be what that is? I, like I said, none of this stuff has been researched yet. I just pull, I'm just pulling it out of the bag to show you. Um, but I'll probably do a separate haul video and share the research when I find out. But I thought, why not? I'll show you. There's a fish one. Do you think that's what they are? You think they have, you know, go into little, they're fancy, right? None of those little plastic ones for my baby. Mm -mm. He's going to get the best. He's going to get a frog, <laughs> a little silver frog. <laughs> I'm going to light it up. So <laughs> I've never seen anything like those, right? Have you? I never had. So those little things. And I think I paid 50 cents. But, yeah, when I saw those on the table, I just wrapped them up. Yeah, it does say happy birthday. So I think. I think so. That's for the very fancy people. The fancy, fancy people. <laughs> and then, okay, how am I doing on time? Oh, I'm really good. I'm, I'm going really fast. Pardon me. I'm going to take a sip. And then this one, again, I didn't do any research. The prices were so good. This it was 25 cents, and it's just a Tupperware cup. So that was kind of neat. And, okay. This was $2, and it's just a little jewelry box. I went ahead and got it. I know it's a vintage. You know, it's got the Japan. It's got the maker, and that's one of the reasons that I went ahead with it. I mean, because the little painted piece here, the little love story painted piece, is not really well done. So if it hadn't been labeled, you know, where I could look it up, that would make it a lot easier for me to find out about it. I may not have gotten it, but I did. So. $2. Someone on Etsy sold the same ones and they're called birthday candle holders. Okay. I'm going to have to go look it up. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm running out of space here. I'm going to have to put stuff on the floor. And then I'm going to show you guys something that I may use for the thrift haul throwdown. Maybe. I have another item. So the item has to be something Disney. And, the, you know, di there's a bazillion Disney things out there. So I have something put to the side, but then I found this, and I thought maybe I should use this instead. But I'll see what you think. Okay. This is from the Aristic Aristocats cats, but it's Avon. It's like Avon soap. Avon soap trio. Aristocat kittens soap. I thought that was unusual. <laughs> Normally Avon is a big no way am I going to buy this thing. And this may still not sell for a lot, but I don't see a whole lot of Aristocats stuff. They might be solid silver too if they're made by Reed and Barton. Ooh, latest grace, thank you. So here's the Aristocats little soap doodads. I don't know. I mean, Avon is usually a dud. I wonder if I should look that up before the show. Because I don't know if that's going to be a swaying factor, is the, the amount that it goes for. But like I said, I have another... I'm trying to get this back in the box. Jeannie says she would pass on the Avon if it's if what I have is good. What I have is unusual. Okay, get back in there. Oh, my gosh. This is probably making a lot of noise for you two here. I'm going to look it up and see if that, because maybe it's like super rare, even though Avon is usually a dud. <laughs> One can hope. But I have something else that is unusual. It's a Disney item that is unusual. I was surprised. So, <laughs> we'll see. They also had a lot of jewelry at this, at this rummage sale. So I'll show you what I got there at the rummage sale as well. I got this silver choker. For a buck twenty-five, and again, as I said, I have not looked it up. It's marked nine two five right there, and I haven't looked any of it up. I got this big old thing just because it was different. It's a big necklace that I paid two dollars for. I think I've seen something similar to this. Let's see. Jenny says unusual trumps Avon. Go with the unusual. Okay, I will. <laughs> I'll take your advice. <laughs> and then I feel bad that I'm showing you stuff and not telling you how much it's going to go for because normally when I do a haul that's what I like to do I can kind of guesstimate but I can not for sure tell you then I got this little roadrunner pin with these stones which I do not think are actual uh, turquoise so this one will, will be probably at least 15 minutes 15 minutes gosh what 15 dollars at least because there are people that collect Roadrunner stuff. There are. This was in the same bag with the Roadrunner grandma. And those two pins were $2 for the both of them. <laughs> More duds. Perfect for a Cleopatra Halloween costume. Oh, thank you. Uh, let's see. This one was $2. This brooch cameo. I need to do a little research on it to find out if... It is really old or not really old. I don't think it is really old. First of all, because of this flaw there. And in the back, I don't know. For, for whatever reason, I'm thinking that it's not really old. And then the, the uh, fixture on it. But it's still pretty. There we go. Like that. I haven't seen a, um, a cameo that was similar to that with the picture. Anyway. And then... I feel some of it's like, hmm. When I got it, I was really happy about it. A little cute frog. It was a buck fifty. And I'm, look, I'm trying to watch the chat too. Some of these I'll just wait and show you later because I don't want to show you. <laughs> uh, maybe that's all I'll show you from that one. But I picked up this pin. It's a little hummingbird. And then it's got these little charms. Isn't that cute? It's got a little birdhouse and some what are those flowers and dragonflies. I'm holding it by its beak. Sorry, hummingbird. It's really cute. Kim, ba Kim K says, don't use Avon in the keywords, only at the end of the descri description box. Description box. But Aristocats is a good collector item. Oh, okay, thank you. That's a good, uh, good idea. All right, so there's that that I picked up. Oh, that one I got at Goodwill. This I got at Goodwill. For 99 cents. I picked up a couple of things at Goodwill. That's another thing about this thrift haul. Because <laughs> I had to go out and find all this stuff. 
So I'm ending up spending more because I keep finding stuff for me to sell for later. And then I got this. Here's another Disney item, but I'm not going to use it for the thrift haul. It's a hair clip like so. It's marked Disney and it's also marked Made in France. So that one, I paid up for this one. I paid $4 for that, but I think I can, let's see. What do I think I can get on that? I think 15, 20 bucks. I don't know. I could be dreaming, but I hadn't, I've never seen one before. I've never seen anything like that. So, and I, but then again, I haven't done my research on it either. So, and then this one, this necklace was 99 cents as well. It's this abalone necklace. It's cut sort of a faceted prism esque so there's that one then again same thing I haven't done the research like I'm saying but maybe 15 20 dollars the pin looks like a win winner to you guys I'm I know the chat's a little delayed from me but there it's cute right I think so for 99 cents I mean I think I can get a a good 15 bucks or so for that I don't know why 15 bucks seems to be my number lately when <laughs> When it comes to the jewelry, it just does. And then I got, <clears throat> let's see what I'm going to show you. I'm, I'm going to save the rest of the stuff from the uh, rummage sale because they're just little brooches and stuff. So I'll save that for later when I do the actual thrift haul and do the prices and numbers. Euro Disney. Thank you, Going and Grumpy. So I went to a garage sale on the way home. We were coming back from the rummage sale and the race that we did. Um, and this garage sale... This is the same guy that I bought a bazillion cookie jars from a long time ago. <laughs> Jenny says she gets stuck on $12.99 for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> so I spent $8 at the garage sale, and he's, he gave me a lot of good deals. So he had a bunch of jewelry, more jewelry. Um, so this I picked up from him. It was a, a necklace, a pendant, and these earrings. And he said, his, he said his wife paid $50 for them when she bought them new, but then she never wore them. So I am going to sell them. I don't know for how much. I will look into it. But it has blue going for it um, and silver. So I paid a dollar probably for that. Because, Like I said, eight, everything else is $8 that I bought from him. Uh, so there's this choker style heart necklace. It's sort of a hard. And, I, and I, again, I haven't gone through and tested them or looked for marks or anything. And then this one. Another choker style hard type necklace. Not exactly a choker. Kind of a choker, I guess. These earrings. I picked these ones up, not because they're amazing looking, but because I saw they were marked. And so I need to go check out what that marking is. It's an X. I can show you while I talk about it. It's an X with something else up there. So I, he was like, necklaces are a dollar, earrings are 50 cents. So... I said, okay, I can take a chance for that. Another little pearly type necklace. Again, that one was, it had some marking on it, so I picked it up for a dollar. <laughs> Very quick. Little silver. I need to clean it up. Silver necklace. Here's another one. I feel, like, I, I feel like I shouldn't have done this because I don't, I feel bad. Like if I don't tell you what I think I'm going to get for it. So I'll just, I'll just fly through the rest real quick. So there's this one and I'm not taking them out of the bags either. Sorry. <laughs> yes. I got my nails done black for Halloween, Jenny, these little pearls. But I mean, remember all this stuff was $8. So it was really good. I thought a good deal. And I'm trying to look at the mark on this one too. I picked up this little necklace again. It's marked. I did not have my magnet with me, and I don't have my, my young eyes on, so I can't read it. But I figured I would take the chance for all the deals he was getting giving me. And then this, I'll pull this one out. It's heavy duty. Look at this. This was a dollar as well. Look at that, isn't that cool? I thought it was really pretty. So, and it's got that um, like knotted heavy chain. So that was a dollar as well there. I'm going to have to test it because it does look like silver. And it's tarnishing like silver. But again, I didn't have my magnet with me. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. 
afternoon, Parrothead Picker. <laughs> and then these, it says $2 on there, but he charged me 50 cents for all the earrings. Those are cute. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> and then as I was leaving, so all of that originally was $7. And then as I was leaving, I saw this, these tarot cards. Um, and so I was like, oh, how much are the tarot cards? And he said a dollar. So I picked those up. So it was $8 for everything. And then Hyper Picker says, will you show us all the necklaces in more detail later? Yes, I will. I will. Um, I just started, as I was showing you, I started feeling really bad because I always, when friends ask, about you know making haul videos and things like that I always encourage them you know say what you bought it for say what you think you're gonna get for it and so I feel bad showing it telling you what I bought it for and like ah, I don't know I don't know so I'm trying to set a better example so those things and then some other things I will do another um, haul video to share with you guys what I think I will be able to get for them and so, yeah, that will come this week. I have to, I need to do a sales update because I haven't done one in forever. So, let's see. The tarot cards with Hebrew, I need those. <laughs> is that what that is? Is that the Hebrew? Kendall tarot right there? Cool. Okay, I did not know that. Okay. Herman, okay. All right, talk to me later if you need them. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a whole video later. Apologies for just flashing them at you real quick. I'm really not a flasher. <laughs> um, but I will find out what they're going to be selling for and let you know. And then, again, tonight, Jason T. Smith's channel, Thrift Hall Throwdown. I hope you guys come cheer me on. And is that it? I'm going to do a sales update tomorrow to let you know what all has been selling lately. And I think that's... I think that's it. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I think that's it. Hello from the UK. She says the heavy chain and pendant look like Indian silver. Oh, thank you. Ha ha ha. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Pardon me. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming and tuning in live to see what we're doing this week or what I'm doing this week to stay on point, what my goals were last week and and everything. And hopefully you will set some goals or maybe you got some tips for how to be more productive this coming week. And I hope you enjoyed the haul. So if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and come around and see what else we got later going on. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.